What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be showing you guys how to lock your shovel, your axe, your fishing rod, or any of those things securely so that way they can't get stolen. So let's go ahead and show you guys what I'm talking about. So we are going to hop up here and show you guys our axe and how it is mounted to this Prinzu roof rack so it sits right in the middle of my roof rack and as you guys can see here we have two mounts onto the load bars that hold the la the shovel in place and you guys can see how solid that is right there and then back here on the lightener bed rack i have my axe secured right there using the exact same mounts this thing is rock solid i can actually ha hang on to this and pull myself up if i were needing to get into my bed but obviously don't do that but you could if you wanted to so on this table here we have what we are going to be talking about today so the mount is called the rhino rack stow it this is the utility um, mount or bracket. This was their first stow it design. They have a few more as after that. So they started calling it a few different things. But in the box, you guys will get two of the mounts, Rhino Rack right there on the, as far as the, uh, the logo. So it is made up of some type of aluminum or some kind of steel and it is coated black it's spring loaded right there there's buttons on both sides of it right here so when you push it it springs open so that right there is a super cool feature that way you don't have to use two hands to get it open and then in here we have rubber ribs so that way it is very soft on whatever you guys are clamping it to so you guys get, will get two of those. There is a keyhole right there. So obviously it is lockable. Over here, it is the rest of the stuff that comes in the box. So some paperwork, instructions on how to install it. The bag, this bag will hold all of this stuff here. So over here, it'll come with an Allen key, a few of these track mount nuts a couple washers a couple different length um, hex bolt bolts and then a pair of keys to go with that so all that right there will be in that bag this paper two of those all in this box right here so let's go show you guys how to mount it so first, we're going to show you guys how to install it on a roof rack like the Prinzu that uses a 2 by one extrusion load bar. So this here is a 2 by one 2 inches this way, 1 inch this way, extrusion load bar. And this one is a Prinzu, and the way you can tell that it's a Prinzu is because Prinzu does these drop-in points where you can drop in a hex bolt this isn't a hex bolt but i'm just using it as an example you would drop it in there and then slide over your position and then twist down whatever you guys are using on top like a an eye ring or um, the tie down that they give you with your roof rack but up top overland sherpa and any other roof rack company that uses a two by one load bar like this you guys can mount these the exact same way. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you guys how to mount on the load bars with these. These are called track nets. They fall in these little tracks. And then once they are in, they will lock itself in place and secure whatever you guys are mounting to it. Rhino Rack does provide you with these big nuts, but obviously it won't fit doesn't matter if you try to put it in from the side these won't fit but these will fit the lightener rack which i will show you guys in a little bit so 
if you guys want to mount it to your roof rack with a low bar you guys will need to buy additional hardware which will be these guys and i will put this in the link so you guys can find everything basically set this in here it'll fall in like that and then you guys will want to kind of push it work it down so that way it sits flat so first thing you need to do drop the bolt through the hole that you want to so rhino rack does give you two options but we always use the bottom option just because we're mounting it completely flat horizontal so drop in the m6 bolt right down the middle then you just thread it on to the track nut once you guys have secured the bracket to the load bar this is what it'll look like so you guys can mount it this way and put whatever you guys are mounting to it long ways this way or you guys can spin it and mount it this way if you guys are running it forward to the back like the way we have our shovel mounted on our roof rack so for this purpose we are going to mount it this way so we can show you guys how to install it on a single load bar so right in front of me here we have the crazy beaver shovel this is probably one of our favorite shovels just because it has lasted so long and this super hard tip right here it has gone through ice and super hard dirt and it has held up great and hasn't even bent obviously not this one the one that is on the roof rack has been through a lot this one is brand new we're going to be using this one to show you guys how to mount it to the stow it so grab your shovel or whatever put it right on top of it obviously we have found where it's going to clamp so obviously you don't put it over here so find out where you want it so it is going to sit right on top of that so really i like to fold these little flaps to the outside so that way they're both opened and then all you really need to do is close this and it's kind of like a uh, roller blade um, strap it'll clamp itself down you see how that rubber piece is on the outside that's what i like to see so we'll fold that down same thing for the front go as tight as it can and then now super solid i can pick up the entire load bar and the shovel and it's not going anywhere so super solid product so that's how you mount a shovel to it and then once you guys um if you guys lock it you guys can lock it but once you have unlocked squeeze the two and this will pop out i love that it is spring loaded i can do it one-handed grab whatever your tool that you need and then go next up on the table we have a fishing rod mounted to the mounts the stoic mounts so as you guys can see here super skinny head on this pole and it, is, it will cinch all the way down so that way it's secured so very cool that you can mount fishing rods to this even with something that is this thin of a diameter so very cool so if you guys have a forerunner or something that is long um, i would definitely put this on our forerunner when we go fishing so very cool so now we're going to show you guys how we mounted it to our lightener bed rack so these little guys these nuts will come in the kit with these brackets so these you will need to put into this channel right here so this here we popped off the lightener cap it goes right up there it's this rubber you can pull it right off and then these brackets that mount this load bar to this load bar you will have to take those out but that's pretty easy because they give you enough room to access it from the bottom so we take those two bolts out then we slide these right in there and luckily they fit in there we slide it over far enough so that way we can install a bolt through that bracket and then attach it to that nut that we just slid over so this here is our fish car axe we have obviously two of them two mounts 
to hold the axe, we have the axe facing in that way so that we won't actually cut ourselves um, if we do reach up here. But you guys can see here, we have the locks facing the back. That way we have easy access. And then same thing with these, we just squeeze it, pop it open, and then grab the axe and then put it back just as quick. So very cool. This is a great place on the Lightner bed rack for an axe or a shovel or at least a short shovel. And then once you guys have that fully mounted on that, then you can put your Lightner cap back on. And that's pretty easy. Just like that, it's on. All right guys, so after showing you guys everything and how it was mounted and everything like that, let me know what your honest opinion is of this product. Personally, I like it a lot. Yes, it is a little expensive for what it is, but it's super built. It's very nice quality. It's lockable so you can, you know, you can protect your investment. I know it's probably a little more than the shovel or the ax, but it saves you from having to buy it over and over and over again after having it up there. And if somebody steals it, now you're out of a shovel or an ax or a fishing rod. Fishing rods can get pretty expensive, but like if you're on a trail and just realize somebody just stole your ax and now you can't chop whatever you need to do or dig whatever you need to do, now it sucks. So in my opinion, it's a really good product. It is definitely worth it in my opinion, but let me know what you guys think. And if you guys are new here, consider subscribing and I'll put all the products down in the description and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.